artists use a paintbrush to create their masterpieces, but a young man in Lakewood prefers to create his with a little help from his trusty chainsaw. NBC 26's John Mino has more on this gas-powered artist. I have to admit, watching an artist or craftsman do their thing fascinates me, especially when the tools of their trade are sort of lethal. Have you ever looked at something and wondered, how exactly does that become this? Well, meet Ben Christensen of Lakewood, a serious up-and-comer on the national carving circuit. I was trying to make a living at painting for a long time, and I kept bugging Jamie Durain, uh, master sculptor from Abrams, and he finally uh, took me under his wing and showed me how to carve. It's not just creating when it comes to competition. It's also about who can create the coolest the quickest. Yeah, you get an hour to make the best thing you can, and they judge it sometimes by how much it sells at auction, or they judge it by the quality, um, but it's a lot of fun. Creating functional furniture while getting a full functional workout. It's like jogging in the morning or any sort of exercise. You just sweat it out, you're in a competition and you got your adrenaline going. It's really a lot of fun. The secret to turning stumps into art? It's kind of a secret. I'm a firm believer that, that uh, this is all just a bunch of tricks, just like a magician does tricks and people are amazed. But then once you know the trick, you're like, ah, oh, there's nothing to it. Tricks of the trade that help him make his mark in a state that produces more than the share of people handy with chainsaws, grinders, and flamethrowers. The thing about the chainsaw carvers is they're a rougher group than the, the painters. I'm from an area where that's the norm, so it uh, feels like home uh, being in the community of chainsaw carving. Mino, NBC26. So very talented. Well, losing